Hey guys, it's Timo from Demostech, and today we are doing a long requested video. I'm going to show you how to install ADB drivers on your computer and also connect them to your phone. First of all, we need to install the universal ADB drivers. Now basically you can choose whatever preferred ADP package that you want, but I think the easiest to install is actually the one called Universal ADP Drivers, and that's exactly what we are going to search for. Now they are made by Clockwork Mod, which is a pretty much famous developer for Android. We're just going to hit download here, we don't need anything else. Now the install should be pretty simple, just hit next, next, next. That's pretty much it, it's installed. We can go to start, write cmd, hit enter, and write adb spacebar devices. And as you can see, our computer still doesn't have any clue what is adb. It's not a recognized command or anything. And that's since the computer doesn't know about the ADB folder. We installed it in a specific folder and not something that is related to our system. So for the ADB to work from anywhere in the CMD or PowerShell doesn't matter, you'll have to add a path. And for that, we'll hit start, write this PC, and under PC you should go to properties, go to advanced system settings, and then under the advanced tab, you want to click environment variables. Here you want to go to the system variables, hit on path and hit on edit. Here you want to add a new path. Hit new, hit browse, this PC, C, program files as D6 and again that's only if you didn't change anything while you are installing. Clockwork mode and universal ADB driver. This folder should be enough since inside it are all the ADB tools and fastboot and everything. Hit OK, and as you can see it's added here. Hit OK again, OK, and OK. You can close that window. And now, I'm not really sure that it will work already, I think we need to reopen the CMD, but let's try that. As you can see it still doesn't work, let's reopen our CMD. Hit Start, write CMD again, Enter, and now it should work. Now as you can see our ADB is trying to actually recognize our device. As you can see it cannot find it because we didn't connect our device yet. Now if you just connect a cable to your ADB devices it still won't work. We still need to enable developer mode on our Android device and enable USB debugging. So let's go to our phone and I'll show you how to do that. Now that we are on our phone we want to enable developer options and then USB debugging. For that, we need to go to our settings. Keep in mind it might differ on your phone a little, but the process should be pretty much the same. Scroll down to about. Scroll down again to where you see build number and hit a few times until you see this and then you will be a developer. In newer versions you'll have to enter your password, your pin code, whatever it will be. So I'm going to enter mine and as you can see you are now a developer. Let's go back, go to system, hit advanced and you'll see here the developer options. Under here you don't want to touch pretty much nothing except you want to scroll down until you'll see USB debugging and enable that. Hit OK. And that's pretty much it. From now on, if you'll connect your device to your computer with USB debugging enabled, you'll see some message and let me show you in a moment. So let's bring our USB cable, hit connect, and now you'll see such a message. Allow USB debugging. Now it will recognize the fingerprint of your computer, basically it's different for every computer. And if it's something that you trust, if it's your home computer or laptop or something, you can hit here always and then hit allow. If you want to allow it only one time, you can pretty much click on allow and that's it. I'm going to always allow it, hit allow, that's it. Now you have enabled ADB debugging and you can connect it to your computer and use ADB and fastboot commands. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, 
click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one!